Okay, this is the April update on moving to Spain. Um, this will tie in with the Philippine stuff anyway. And so if you're interested in what I'm up to uh, is where we are at the moment because Philippine stuff's still ongoing. Um, but the update in moving to Spain is we're looking at property to help fund living here. Um, what I've got at the moment is, um, well, let's do a full update. First thing is, you probably noticed I've got these lovely little spectacles on, uh, which I don't normally wear. Um, reason being is last month, I struggled to read drawings. When I say drawings, I'm not on about Picasso or um, any of the other artists out there. I was on about blueprints and drawings for room numbers and those sort of things for surveying. Um, had an eye test and basically I need glasses. So, uh, not great, um, but that's livable. I mean, these ones actually got at the airport. Now, the funny thing with that is the company has this policy by law. Uh, in the UK, the company has to provide you glasses if you're using a uh, VDU or whatever they call it these days. VDU is a visual display unit, um, but because we incorporate so many American nonsenses into the UK, it's something else now. Um, I don't know why. I, I, why you change something that's already been the same for the last 20 odd years, I don't know. But anyway, so five days of phone calls to get a little bit of paper, to get a voucher, to get glasses, to whatever. I gave up um, on the last day. I just said, forget it. This just doesn't work. It's wasting my time. Um, and then this morning I got another email after filling in the forms, the because I'd filled the form in and everything anyway. Um, another email come through this this afternoon saying, "Oh, that uh, we've actually changed companies now. Um, if you'd want to apply for another voucher with another company, tell you what, shove it. I can't say any <laughs> any more than that. It's cost more in my time um, than the glasses are worth. Certainly more than the vouchers are worth." So another uh, processing Karelian that's uh, absolute pants. But anyway, going on to positive side, um, we've banked 6,000 euros so far towards buying our first property in Spain. Um, downside on that was I had my own property, 24,000 euros up until this morning. Um, when I took on some advice, um, I because I don't know everything. That, that may surprise somebody out there. So I contacted a friend of mine who's a real estate agent um, and said, look, I'm looking at this studio apartment. It's in La Mata where we live, beach area. Easy to rent out. And he says, don't touch it with a barge <laughs> um, Basically, you want a minimum of one bedroom. Studio apartments do not sell. They do not rent. Um, and when we had the discussion, it's sort of... A, so a penny dropped on me because then the day um, the little hotel I stopped in in Paris, for example, before I flew out to the Philippines, it was functional but not nice, and it sort of made sense because it was like it was that sort of um, same feeling with uh, where everything's crushed into a room that's sort of like half the size that it should be. So having a one bedroom would actually make sense, but the only thing is it's just took it from 24,000 to 45,000. Struggled to get that um, this year at the minute, but there's other stuff developing. Um, today, when I met up with a friend of mine who's got a building here in Spain uh, with the, the floor area for the call center we're looking at out in Spain. Um, the guys up in Alicante and Benidorm have also started a call center um, which is predominantly working on uh, timeshares and that sort of stuff. See how that goes. Not sure how I'll fit in with that side of their business because they're already developing it. Um, and I'm quite happy just to set something up here separately um, because I don't envision me having too much control on the stuff they've now set up because they've spent the last two weeks getting it all together. There's a couple of problems they've got. Um, which I can fix for them, but at the same time, um, after that, I can't really see me needing to be involved with it because um, they know what they're doing. It's just these business hurdles that they're struggling with, which I can resolve.
Um, April and the kids are still loving Spain. Um, just about sorted out Zoe's school. Um, speaking of Zoe, she managed to shove a bit of paper in her ear this week, which meant two trips to the hospital and cost 115 euros to see a consultant. Um, wasn't an easy task getting paper out of a child's ear, I'll tell you that now. Um, but glad it was sorted, not really fussed on the money. Um, the main thing is here is insurance is worth doing. Uh, me, I'm pretty much self-insuring at the moment. I've got, I keep my, a lot, of, a fair bit of cash in the bank, but I will be looking into insurance. But if I change my domicile and my tax to the to Spain anyway, the kids will be covered automatically. So it swings around about. Um, we went private this time. We didn't go to the government hospital uh, on a bank holiday. You can guess how busy it was. We did actually visit it and just sort of looked at it and walked out. Went to the private one, got seen in five minutes. Um, but those are the main things going on at the moment with our update. You know, the family staff have been great. Took two weeks off work. Um, feel more alive now I'm back in Spain, to be honest. The UK is sucking the life out of me at the minute. Um, my work world is not what I signed up for, and as such, I'm sort of like a ping pong ball, bouncing back and forwards, trying to find a way out um, into something um, a bit more demanding. Um, be it in the same company or with another company, um, I just want something with a bit more uh, bite to it. What I've got at the moment is not where I want this to be sitting. Uh, which also ties me down to the fact that I won't be quitting work anytime soon uh, because I will be developing this stuff in Spain, but it's going to need a bit of cash flow. Um, there's other stuff developing in other parts of the world as well. The call center might kick in here. Maybe that takes off all, all well and good because once it's up and running, I've just got to monitor it. Um, and also my business partner here who actually owns the building um, can keep an eye on things as well. So, because I, I don't want to be tied down the way I was in the Philippines where I'm there 24 7. When I say 24 7, I mean 24 7 because you've got the IT issues you're fitting on, fixing on the weekend, you make sure the telephone numbers and everything are, lo are loaded on a Monday, well, every day, um, checking through. Uh, all the recordings, everything else. The whole shebang with the call center, which basically meant a lot of time I was only at four hours a day of sleep. Where now it's a different environment. Um, the people that we're looking at are from the industry already. So they don't need to be babysat and you don't need to constantly be putting the pressure on them because they know what they're supposed to be doing. Um, not knocking the Philippines as a BPO outsource because at the end of the day it's still a very good um, place to work, to have a call center but they do need to have a lot more control um, on what people are doing because processes are followed but people won't deviate from them um, so if something's written a certain way that's all that people will do or the people aren't being managed properly they may just not bother working so philippines can be quite hard spain i know i'm going to get some of that but i'm not going to expect it to be on a regular basis because of the the way the business is structured um so lots of stuff going on second week into april already uh another two days and that's another two weeks till payday again um so yeah all good um the other thing is like i said work i'm a bit unhappy with but i can either just blinker and just carry on um and just not get involved in a lot of the stuff while i'm working on the stuff i'm doing myself like my college course or look for something a bit more interesting but i'll wait and see yeah, i'm not 
I'm not too fast, not too happy, but I'm not too fast either because uh, there's a lot more stuff going on around me. But anyway, thanks for watching the update. Um, so we're, we're a bit further forward, you know, got the first 6,000 um, towards that for now 45,000 euros. Um, and if you go to our website, you can actually watch our little thermometer heading towards the goal as we put money into it. All right, thanks for watching.